Hi, I'm Josh Olson, and this is Trailers from Hell. Sometime in the future, a group of high school-age kids are transported to a distant location, each of them with one weapon, where they must engage in a battle to the death with each other. Only one can survive. Obviously, I can only be talking about one movie, and that movie is, of course... Uh, oh, yeah, Battle Royale. This movie came out in 2000, and it felt like the arrival of a fresh, vinyl, vigorous, and youthful new director. The only thing is, Kinju Fukasaku was 70 when he made it, and it was something like his 65th movie. He made many terrific and notable films over the years, but few of them got widespread release in America. He directed the Japanese sequences in Tora Tora Tora, as well as the very bizarre message from space, which was kind of a Star Wars knockoff with Vic Morrow and Sonny Chiba. But Battle Royale was a masterpiece. Based on a terrific graphic novel, it tells the story I described earlier. It's a bunch of kids sent to an island. Uh, they're each given a weapon. Some of them get a frying pan. Some of them get an Uzi. It's all random. And they have 48 hours to kill everybody else. Only one person can live. The great Beat Takeshi plays the school teacher who's running the show, and some of the kid actors in this thing are going to tear your heart out. It's brutal and violent, but it's also tender and emotional, and it's a powerful indictment of the way adults scapegoat kids and marginalize them and dehumanize them. It got a very limited release in the U.S., only playing theatrically a couple of times, and only recently getting an official U.S. DVD release. I suggest you look out for it if you haven't seen it. I saw it at what I think was the first screening uh, ever in the States, certainly in L.A. It was at a packed house. Pretty much everybody there was in the business. We'd all heard rumors of this thing. And I remember walking out and talking to friends about it, and we realized we were all thinking the same two things. One, this would be an amazing movie to remake. And two, post-Columbine, no one would ever let you make it. We were all right about the first, but apparently all wrong about the second.